NPATH can be used in a financial services setting. So we can move beyond clickstream and analyze a different kind of time series data. So in this case, let's say we want to analyze a set of, of transaction data in, in a bank setting. And we're going to find all orders that were entered but were canceled before being fulfilled. And the available data is a log of events. And each event has an event code, which can be one of got order, preference filled, internal filled, or cancel order. So we want to find all orders that went through a got order state, which means that they were entered, but were canceled before being filled, either via preference or internal. So again, the SQL MR query, or the NPATH query for this, will look like this. So we, we are going to be applying NPATH on the transactions table, which is just the log of events. We partition by order number, because we're interested in, in, in the events for each particular order. Within each order, we're going to order the events by action date. So again, we sort by time. And we're going to be looking, looking for a particular pattern. So the particular pattern will be the order is opened. Then there is zero more events where that order is not filled. And finally, there's a cancellation. So O is the open, U is the unfulfilled, C is canceled. So uh, we define these symbols using the symbols clause. So the uh, O is event number equals one, which was defined on the previous page. Unfilled is any event except four and nine, which are the two filled uh, events. And C, or canceled, is event number, number eight. So again, the end path will go through all the orders in the system and will match every time it sees something of the pattern open, un unfilled, canceled. And every time this, this, this pattern is matched, some set of aggregates will be computed. And in this case, we're going to look at just information about when the order was opened. So every time we match something of this, of this kind, we'll look at the order number, the symbol, and the action date of the open. And these three things will be the output of NPATH. And here we don't do any, any SQL slicing and dicing of the output. We'll just be selecting the order number, symbol, and action date out. So again, the NPATH query will simply, um, will simply output a single row for every time such an order was found in the system. Thanks for listening to this NPATH tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, if you have any questions, you can check us out at astrodata.com or you can email us at hello at astrodata.com. And be sure to look for the third installment of the SQLMR tutorial, which will go through writing your own SQLMR function. Thanks.